and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are still down here. Please. Thank you. The orb is lying in a corner of the chamber. Its ribs draw starkly beneath its scaly hide, and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing obvious discomfort. It doesn't seem to be reacting to your pheasants. Examine him. You look the creature over. There is a strange discoloration on its skin in several places, but you can't see anything that would inform you of what ails the Zorib. Leave it for now. We will deal, he we will deal with him later. Oh, Zorbs. That was effective! Oh, those are worm eggs, I assume. Following your lead. Yeah. Oh. All of you attack him. You too. All of you. I said. Okay, let's take it all. Nice. Curled against the inside of this broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny tooth more opens to let out a frightened squeak, it is clear that this is a small, small worm. Recently hatched. Him up! Certainly. We, um. We have tiny white worm. I told you we're gonna collect. No, I don't think I told you. Anyway, we're gonna collect pets. These cracked eggshells are literally but brittle. Most of them have been trampled into a fine dust, stamped with tiny, clawed footprints. Okay, so we can go. Further down. I did not see you, little guy. I will hide in the logbook. Okay. I'm here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So please summon a demon. You please summon skeletons. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> this rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrolls. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was a shit plan from the start. Merrick, gleeful as a toddler, convinced we were going to talk the syrups into helping us fill our pockets. Help Andras right into a great big bed, more like. And now you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me, up to my armpits and bones of an absorbed ship. I hope you all are down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and grabs and loses what's left of his wits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left, and you run. Curse each and every one of you. And curse me too for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling pisspots. Here's for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns some Ethereum. I hope you fucking choke. Hand and key, medium armor all give me that. Oh, uh, okay. I believe I am using medium armor. I think I can use medium armor. That looks nice. Oh, you are using medium armor as well. What type of armor are you using? Light. This is light, this is light, so there you go. No more, no more this tattered stuff of yours. Come on, all of you. 
more Zorips. Only Zorips, so we can do this normal speed. Did it help you with your endurance? No. Hmm. Combat on or maybe it's because it's combat only. Yes. That does not look great. Oh, what do we have here? Come on. Find leather armor. This is medium. I think you are stand six. Yeah, sure. Wait, but what overseering is? Not here. Here. Uh, 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 uh. Person, ability area of effect. Nah, got them. I keep forgetting that right clicking will not allow me to quickly swap equipment. At once. Stepping into this chamber, you are assailed by a cacophony of creatures, growls and barks. Blood spattered Azorips dance in frantic, leaping motions. To one side, Azorip plunges his hands into a bucket of dimming with blood, to draw patterns on to others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Azorip wearing the long skull of a young drake and vibrant feathers shakes a staff towards the gathered Azorips, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point at the pit, and then at you. I think we've just been invited to participate. I'm here. Oh, okay, um... Listen, it's... You weren't the ones to attack me, which is... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, do you keep attacking him? You... What can you do, actually? Is this... The two of you... Attack this guy, you keep attacking this one. Here. You do your stuff here, you do your stuff. Actually, do this. That was effective. I'm here. Turn back. There's only death upon the endless paths. I'm here. Oh, we got ourselves a pearl. Yeah, don't worry, I don't wanna jump down there yet. I'm here. I would rather use the stairs, you know? Spiritus Trist Exicat Osa. Though worn away by time, many of these alcoves are engraved with Aetherian surnames. Get them it! We should go back. <laughs> He's at 12 health. Yep, we are definitely going back seeing this. Yep, 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 yep. I am wondering though if we can 
Hmm. Sacrificial pit. Hmm. Maybe we'll go back to the sacrificial pit. No, what I'm wondering is if now we can rest at the keep. After all, it's ours now. But it would make sense. I wish there was a shortcut for us to get down there. Maybe there will be. Mm. No, this. How? Oh. Two days and 21 hours left. Okay, let's. I, I cannot rest in, uh, in my own keep. <laughs> So let's get let's get going. Hopefully nothing will attack us because we'll be screwed. Can we rest here? Yes, great. So it is quite literal that I cannot rest at my own keep yet. Don't worry, we'll get back to the pits. Um I do not visit this place first, or wooden planes. Wait, what do we have to do first? Um, mm, 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 this is for the endless buffs. Uh, okay, let's give that back, I guess. Um, Defiance Bay. Oh, we just travel together. Endless buffs. Um, and Master Below. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to Gilded Vale. It will take us two days total to travel back and forth. Mm, and then what? I mean, yeah, let's visit the blacksmith first. Maybe we will be able to talk to them about that note. I found the shipment you were waiting for on. Tautano reaches out to take the crate, raising it effortlessly in onto the counter. His face split in a broad smile. <laughs> Why, so you have. This is excellent news. We can finally get back to work and show you real black hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. Here, I'll give you a taste. He ducks behind the counter, counter and rises with a heavy wooden shield in hand. Might not have had much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still Black Hammer craftsmanship. You go and take that. And here, some coin for your troubles too. He play his pleased expression dims. Did you find anyone with the wagon? Bandits overtook the wagon. I doubt your people survive. Tautanu shakes his head, running a hand over his bald pate. Poor folks. Always told them they ought to hire some guards instead of palming the extra coin. <sighs> I'll have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to settle in Gilded Vale? Try delivery work? <laughs> he smiles faintly. You have my thanks for your assistance, friend. Give me some time to work the forge and you'll be you'll have to pick of the next run of weapons. Great. I'm here. And I leveled up, so as I told you before, we're going into mechanics. Um, mm, 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 mm. Maybe load the endless host? Oh, aura frightened me. Friendly aura, reload speed. Oh, yeah, give me that. Good day to you. I would like to see your wares, please. And I would like to sell you some stuff. <laughs> some shields. Uh, 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 what do we have here? Spirits, yeah. I have tons of crap. I'm not gonna sell you my pets. I have here 
party, you know, stash. Also, all oh, that's not special. Honestly, I did not take a good look at those special weapons. I just need to pick them. I am a hoarder when it comes to this stuff. Most of them don't give you anything. Not ingredients, okay. Treat. Yeah. Uh, actually. Ooh, this is fine. Oh, this is arbalest. This is not a crossbow. I'll sell you this. Mm -mm -mm, I cannot retrain. Oh, so that's how we can do this. Okay, it's interesting that we can do this here, but no, 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 no. Can I check? I want to check what kind of weapon you use. I use flail and simple crossbow. You use rod and trapier. Aquarius and sword, but you prefer a saber, right? Staff and rod, Aquarius and two-handed. Hail and well met. <laughs> Not you, but you. So better than what I have. Quarter stuff. Oh, that would be good for you. But yours is burning. I don't think free extra damage is worth it. Fine saber. We also have fine saber. So I suppose we're not gonna buy anything new from you. I am thinking about that arbalest, but it's very slow. Mine is a... Uh, nope. Mine is slow. You gave me a door! As a shield, okay, I'll use it. 16 deflection. Yours gives 12. So there you go. You will be using doors. Okay. So what can we do now? I would love to go back to our keep, but it's not... I'm sorry, stronghold. Why is it stronghold here? Here, one day. Okay. So... Uh, let's go buy some more rations. I will always prefer to be... Max on those. Especially since I'm facing some problems with it. Uh, uh, um. Things for sale. Let's see, where can I find it? Okay, I can only buy up to six. I'm for sure we read all that. Oh, you have potion. No, this is endurance. This is still endurance. This is the. This is also endurance, but mm -mm -mm. restoring energy and reliving a story. Okay, I will see if this will work. Because as we mm, we experienced it already, that the spell for generation regenerating endurance will not always work as it's supposed to. I mean maybe it, it does work as it's supposed to but so it won't always regenerate your endurance if you lost it beyond some point so well okay let's see here maybe before we go we get to the bridge, of course. 
Oh, maggots grown amidst the deer's entrails. Something killed. Ah, it's just a troll. She said, but uh, straight away. I immediately. Wish I did not say that. Um, oh, that's interesting. Move away. Okay. That kind of worked. Oh, and. Someone leveled up. Look at here. Athletics. Athletics only gives you the better second wind, I think. So let's go for survival. Vigorous defense? Hmm. Use plus 20 all defense for 15 seconds. Guardian stones, self minus an accuracy spell, but find the aura plus ten deflection. Um, yeah, let's give you a figure as defense. I'm here. Okay, this is how far we can go there. And we still have to figure out what to do with that one on Zorip in the maze. I think when they, when there was mentions of this coloration, maybe I think his ribs are broken. I don't know. How to tell, really? Well, for now, we have to be worried about our own health. Thank you, I wanted those. Yeah, I believe there can be bothered to find the honest wage. Hmm? Curse my luck. Oh, the woman mother is kicking her foot into the ground and upturning a clod of soil. As you approach, her ears twitch and she turns to greet you. Hey, old traveler, she says with half-hearted hand wave. The bridge to the finance bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. But what destroyed the bridge? The river has been rising on account of all the storms. Here, where the river narrows, the flooding did the most damage. The old woman folds her arms, a skull overtaking her face. Guess they didn't make things to last around here, do they? One of the stone columns collapsed in a flash flood, taking the whole little section of the bridge out to sea. Madrun Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay. Merchants and travelers now have to find boat passage or add days of extra travel to loop around the bay. So I started a ferry service, thinking I would earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. <sighs> Paragon shakes her head, her ears twitching as she speaks. And that was a bigger mistake than that time I allowed a cipher to court me. M mistake? How so? I had been attempting to turn a quick copper, but... She bites her lip, her face turning flush with anger. Just my luck, the blast currents threw my fairy into the rocks, dashed it and my profits to pieces. Making matters worse, when I went to prowl the shore to salvage whatever shipping craze didn't sink, a pair of looters attacked me. She stomps her foot into the ground. The tamed brigands had the nerve to attack. I managed to avoid harm, but... But now they have stolen my f by force all that is left of my fortune. She eyes you for a long second, her hand cupping her chin. You know, you look like you'd fare better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? Hmm. I will take a look. Peregrine smiles wide, her ears perking up. Thank 
you. I'm sure those facts have made a mess on my sock, but maybe there's something there to be saved. Okay, but anyway, how do I get to the fence bay? With the bridge destroyed, the best course of action will be following the river north. You'll be able to cross further upstream, but you've got a long walk ahead of you. Sure. I'm sure it won't come back to bite us in this ass. Okay, it surely did bite them. You really shouldn't be the one to go so far ahead. Gathered around the soggy timbers of a ship wreckage, men and women pick through the driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, mold, clothes, stripped pottery, and anything they can spot among the detritus. All eyes turn to you as you approach. The group trade nervous stares at you until at last, a woman in muddy clothes steps forth and speaks. Where are Brethel and Theran? she asks. They were just up along that path and we heard fighting. Her eyes narrow and a hand moves toward a knife in her belt as she anticipates your reply. They attacked us. It was a matter of self-defense. You, you killed them! You see Hanwan's eyes tear up before she bursts her face in her hands. The men and women around her take a step back, eyeing you cautiously. Hanwen looks up, wiping her eyes. Y you speak of self-defense! Well, we are defending ourselves from the storm! Her voice rises and her face grows flushed with emotion. The floods took our entire farm! We have nothing left. Nothing! No food, no roof, and now I don't even have my cousins. She throws up her hands in despair. We don't want to fight you. We have lost enough already. Please, just leave us. I came here investigating some missing cargo. We mistook your cousins for looters. She blinks in disbelief. Looting? But this is a wreck. What value does it have? The men and women all turn to her, their faces frightened and worried. Please, we need these supplies dearly. The storm took everything from us. It is not our desire to steal, but we are destitute. Should we let these words just sink to the river bottom? Regardless of your need, you are still stealing from Paragon. Perhaps you could tell the merchant that you found nothing beyond bits of driftwood. From her point of view, it will be as if the river washed it all away. Besides, how much copper will she really make by selling these rotting clothes and sold wares? I will see what I can do. Thank you, she sighs, wiping sweat from her brow. You are the first turn of good fortune to come our way in, in a very long time. Hanwen snaps her fingers at one of her comrades and points to a pile of supplies drying in the sun. We don't have much time, but take this as a token of our thanks. And so they are gone. The frayed end of the rope drifts in the river. Ooh, wait, who's there to see if that I'm stealing? Come on. Okay, um... Okay, let's give you no I don't think you yeah let's give you some more lore <laughs> Ooh, bouncing missiles not bouncing missiles repulsive visage or exposure oh explosive from this fireball Do not ask me why I am so excited to see a fireball. I just am. Just to remind you, my cleric, my cleric's favorite spell was Pillar of Flames. Huh. Aragorn bounces on her feet as you approach. My helpful stranger returns. Have you managed to find anything yet? 
Even if all you found is driftwood, just knowing those flutes got what they deserved would moisten my breeches. I picked through the racket, but I found nothing salvageable. It must be washed away. Peregrine kicks her foot into the dirt several times. I figured just as much. Well, thank you for your assistance. I suppose I need to figure out how I'll recover my investment. Hmm. At last, her foot stops kicking and she lets out a long sigh. Thanks for trying. If you find yourself in Defiance Bay, search out for my shop. I'll need all the customers I can get. You're welcome. Okay. I know you're here. Don't you worry. I, don't for I didn't forget about you. Okay, let's run around some more. Oh, you see? More materials. And more materials is always welcome. Might well have to go back. What? Who are you? Oh, you're one of mine. That one. Yep. This is one of the backers. Those all three are from backers. Looks like we'll be taking the long way to Defiance Bay. Yeah. And with that, I'll end this part here. So thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.